Today, people know SIG as part of SIG Sauer, but at the time of World War II and in the immediate post-war era, SIG was really the industrial manufacturer of military arms for Switzerland, and they produced the P-210 pistol. Probably the most beautifully crafted semi-automatic pistol ever produced anywhere is the SIG P-210. When you see one and you handle one, you lower the slide and it actually rings. Now, of course, the 210 is called simply the, the Model 49 as the Swiss Army pistol. And these guns are just simply beautifully made. The machining, the bluing, the polishing on these guns is absolutely magnificent. And it's funny to think, this is a duty pistol. This is the Swiss military pistol uh, for most of the 20th century. The development of the P-210 started in the late 1930s. It was about ready to go into production in 1944, but with World War II winding down, a Swiss interest in adopting a new military sidearm diminished. However, this gun was a very, very accurate pistol. Swiss target shooters uh, had a great interest in it. The Danish army showed some interest in it, and uh, it was brought out of mothballs in 1947, and by 1949, the Swiss army adopted it as their standard issue sidearm. It was designed by uh, a Swiss French uh, firearms designer, Charles Petter, who had earlier designed uh, the French service pistol, the uh, Moss Model 35. After the war, immediately after the war, the Swiss, who had wisely sat out the, the, the hostilities, took a look at this gun. They said, you know, this Petter thing has has a lot of merit. And they turned their engineers at, at Bern loose on this design and said, make it better. We like it, make it better. And they fiddled around for a while, understanding that the Swiss Army uh, was ready for a new sidearm. The major reason that it is so accurate was that Petter reversed what is this the, the standard mounting for a slide on a frame. Whereas in, say, the 1911, the frame is inside the slide. On Petter's design for the SIG P210, it is the opposite. The slide rides in rails on the frame. They also were sticklers because they're a nation of marksmen. They wanted the very, very best trigger they could get on a, on a service gun. They put beautiful sights on it. They put nice hand-filling grips. They toyed with the idea of a double-column magazine, but decided that a single column was, was more reliable. And uh, that's how they went. The SIG was made in five variations. They still produce it as a, as a very, very expensive target pistol. The magazines on the, all of the original SIGs were like the P-38. They had a button in the bottom with it. It was spring-loaded and you dropped the magazine that way. On the new ones, unfortunately, the magazine setup is kind of like the 1911 and the magazines are not interchangeable. So if you're looking for a mag for a, a, a SIG P-210, uh, expect it to pay as much money as you might pay for a firearm. As you might have guessed, the SIG P210 is not an inexpensive handgun. But the good news is SIG Sauer is offering a modern variant. That's all the time that we have for this week. If you like the show and you're not an NRA member, you need to join right now. For more information or to sign up, go to AmericanRifeman.org. I'm Mark Keefe, and I'll see you next week right here on American Rifleman Television.